Hi everyone, welcome back to this series of Amy Broker tutorials and videos. Thank you so much for joining me. This one is a really excellent one. In fact, it, it tackles something that should be a part of many different people's trading. Uh, it's correct money management and actually implementing that into your trading system code. In fact, it's one of the more popular methods that has been used by traders over the last 20 to 30 years. And it was popularized by Van Tharp in one of his books, A Trade Your Way to Financial Freedom, I believe. Now, the way it works is, uh, is we're actually looking at the risk of our particular trade. To give you a quick rundown of the method, let's just look at this particular chart here. We've got our entry signal. Um, let's say that entry signal is at $6.20. And I'll just open up a calculator so we can follow along too. So we've got our entry signal at $6.20 and the trailing stop loss down here is at $5.90. So $6.20 minus $5.90. Instead of our our instead of that whole $6.20 being the risk in our trade, we're actually looking at the risk as between our entry and our stop loss. So that ends up being 30 cents. Now, if we just for simplicity's sake, let's say we have a $100,000 portfolio and we only want to risk, let's say, 1% at any one time of our portfolio. So if we, what do we times that by 0 0.01? My mathematics is terrible, obviously, <laughs> but that will give us $1,000 of risk per, um, per trade. Now, so that doesn't mean that we're buying 1,000 shares or buying $1,000 worth of shares. It means that we're risking $1,000. So if we have $1,000 to risk and we multiply, or divide that, sorry, divide that by the 30 cents that um, is between our entry and our stop loss, then in this particular scenario, we would be buying 3,333 uh, 3, shares. So that's how that, that works. And the idea is that as if, if our account goes down to 80,000, for example, then we'd be only looking at 1% of that. So we'd only be, um, be risking $800 of our, of our total capital at any one time. So that's the idea behind it. It's called fixed fractional position sizing. Um, obviously, you could go into it in a lot more depth than, than I can in a video here. But let's quickly look at how to actually code this sort of thing in AmiBroker. And this is just the way that I've sort of figured out myself. It's nothing special. Um, if you have a better way, please let me know because um, you know, that would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, first, first up, I'll just do a few things. We have to set our set a few options we want to set our max open positions and we can set that to whatever we like let's say 20 in this in this example um, also in a lot of cases we may need to use leverage um, if you do then you can also set account margin and make sure that that's in inverted commas if we set that to 50% or 50, then that means we only have to have 50% of our own money and the other 50% would be you know, borrowed money. Now that we've set up those two things, what I'm going to do is just, first of all, make an array. We'll call it risk percent. Now this can, you can call it anything you like, obviously, and you can make it any value you like. But in our example previously, we wanted to risk just 1%. So for, for the sake of this, Let's say risk percent, um, we'll call it that, you know, just for simplicity's sake, and we'll say that that's one every time. Now, the stop size, what that will be, and again, all I'm doing is just creating stop size as an array. You could call that anything that you liked, um, but what is the stop size? So that is the difference between our entry and our stop loss. So, we're going to need an entry and an exit signal, aren't we? Well, let's set up a basic one. Entry signal and exit signal. Let's say, um, for the sake of this, we'll say a highest high value of the closing price of the last, um, let's say, 20 days. Here you go. This is what it will look like here. So, I've just, just plotted that on the chart. And so we've got our entry prices there and our stop loss trailing just below it. So that way we can see where our entry and our stop loss would be at any one time. But now that we've set up our entry signal and our exit signal, now we can actually figure out what our stop size is because it's basically going to be our entry price. So the price that happens when our entry signal happens 
minus our proposed sell price at any one time. So when we're buying, we want the value of this, um, our exit signal, and it's basically going to be our our entry signal minus our exit signal, and that's going to be the difference there, and that's going to be the amount of risk that we want to have at any one time. So for that reason, that's why we actually need to set up our entry and exit signals before we do all this, uh, because otherwise it won't work. Ami Broker will read it from top to bottom, so we need to make sure that we're doing it from top to bottom as well. Now lastly, we can actually set up our position sizing. Now it's just set position size. That turns blue and that means that Ami Broker recognizes it and we can open up our bracket and it will tell us what we're after. So the size. Now we've got a few things involved in our size. What we want is our risk percent. So that's that's one percent per trade currently. Now if we divide that by our stop size, which as we saw was the difference between our entry signal and our exit signal, that difference there. So if we divide it by our stop size and then multiply that by the closing price, that will actually give us the value that we need for our percentage or of our overall percent of our equity. Now just to be safe, we could put brackets around that so that it calculates that you know all together. Um, instead of calculating one, you know, uh, it might collect, calculate that and then those two, for example. Um, hopefully that will just help us a little bit. And lastly, we just want SPS percent of equity. Um, pretty simple, that's the one that I use for most of my of my trading systems, um, whether it's just fixed or it's, you know, it's 5% per trade or whatever it is. So that, we finish off with a, a semicolon, and that will end our Vanthar position sizing. So really quickly, let's just actually go through that and make sure that that's what we're after. So we've got risk percent, so that's one, and we want that to be divided by the stop size. So the stop size is the entry signal minus the exit signal. So if we divide that by, and it's our entry signal which is uh, entering at $6.68 minus our exit price down here, which would be $6.10, close that off, so that's 58 cents is our proposed risk there. So we've got that, we'll calculate that, and then we want to multiply that by the closing price again. So again, uh, $6.68 I think we had it as. So what that gives us is, in order for us to have 1% of our total equity in this particular stock, with the proposed risk being between this value, 669, and around 610, or whatever it was that we were looking at, 611, 612, then we would potentially need to buy 11% worth of stock. Um, or in other words, in our $100,000 portfolio, um, we'd need 11,000, approximately, $11,000 worth of stock. And all of this has figured it out for us automatically. In fact, just to be a little bit safer, um, the brackets for this one, we really want it to be risk percent divided by stop size first. So we'll do that up in brackets, and that way then that's multiplied by close. Um, you may not need to do that, but that will just sort of keep us a little bit safer, hopefully. Obviously, you could change the percent to from one to two to three to four to five, uh, however much you like, not too much, hopefully. <laughs> and also, I know a few other traders and a few other trading system operators have actually done a very similar thing um, and found 1% to be around about right, um, especially from a risk to reward point of view. Guys, I hope this has helped in some small way. Have a great, great week. Happy training until we meet again. Stop by the website, it's asxmarketwatch.com. There's a whole bunch of free stuff there, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.